Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a makeup declutter. It's been a while since I've had my collection of makeup and I just thought it would be time to just refresh just to see what I've got um, and just to make it easier when doing my makeup every day. I feel like it's gotten quite disorganized. I did have it organized at one point and I kept it up pretty well but I think it's time to just refresh it. So. I'm just going to be going through my makeup and decluttering and reorganizing so if you find this interesting follow along or you can also do your own makeup declutter um, and yeah I hope you enjoy. So this is my makeup drawer and as you can see it's not a whole lot and it does go just a little bit deep in there but not too much um, but this is basically all I've got and it might not seem like a lot to some people, but it might seem like a lot to others, so I don't know. I feel like it's a reasonable amount. It's, you know, there is a few things in there. There's a few old things in there. Um, some new stuff that I actually sometimes even forget I have because I can't see it in there. So I might start with this kind of foundation section. So this area here. So I'll just start taking them out. This is just a mirror that I've got. I'll probably just move that to the side. So I've got my daily face cream. I use this basically every day and I love this one so I won't be getting rid of this one. I've got a blush here from Revlon. So I really like this one. It's the Tickled Pink 014. Um, and that's just kind of what it looks like. I feel like it's quite a pretty pink colour. So I really like this one. And I've used it a few times and I'm, I feel like I, I could still use this one. So I'll keep that. This one is going strong. It's a Catrice Strobing Blush in Mrs. Summer Peach, number 10. And obviously I've used this one quite a lot. It's a hit pan, but honestly, I love this one. It probably just needs a bit of a clean around it, but I love this one. I'm not going to get rid of it just because I'm hit pan. I'm just going to use it all up. Um, and I got this overseas in Europe, so... I've got the Terra Naturi Loose Setting Powder, which I really like. I just haven't used it in a while. I've got a few other powders, which I'll also show, but I think I need to give this one a second chance. Um, or, yeah, I think I need to try this one again. Just give it a second chance, because I do like this one. I love this one. And I feel like the reason I'm not using it is because I can't just get it in store. So if I use it up, I won't be able to get a new one anytime soon. I've got my Bobbi Brown, um, this is a bronzing powder in golden light, so this is what the lady at um, Bobbi Brown matched me, I think it was in David Jones, the store. So I have used quite a bit of this one, I feel like it's, you can really tell that I've used it, it probably just needs a bit of a clean around the mirror, uh, but otherwise I do like this one, it's quite, um, it doesn't show up on the screen in quite strongly so you, you definitely need to build it up but I do like that because I don't want something that's really you know muddy um, I feel like this is a good one I've got a MAC highlighter which I know is crazy because these used to be so popular and this is really old but it's just a powder and it's a highlighter so I thought I'll just keep it it's in the double gleam um, it's the extra dimension skin finish so it is quite nice compared to some of the other highlighters I've had and it did break at one point so it actually does come out of its pan if I tip it over but obviously I've used it a bit I used to use this with my sister as well and I don't know I don't think I'll get rid of this one I don't really have a lot of highlighters and I don't use them that often to be just yeah I'm probably just gonna keep it for now I promise I'll get rid of some stuff eventually <laughs> so this is a high Hyaluron liquid foundation from La Vera and it's a German brand um, and I got this overseas as well um, but I think I'm gonna have to try this one just to see if I still like it. I did really like it at one point and because it kind of has a bit of like a skin care feel to it I did really like it and it made my skin really dewy so I'm gonna try this one again so I might make a try again pile so maybe these can be the try again pile and I'll leave these here so next up I've got a bit of skincare which I'm thinking that I probably won't keep skincare in here anymore. I'm going to make this just makeup depending on how much I get rid of but 
I've got a different section. The drawer underneath is for skincare. So this is the Avene Hydrants Cream Hydrant. Oh, it's a light hydrating cream. So I really like this one. It's very nice for summer. It's very light, but does the job of hydrating. So I do like this one, but it is quite empty. I can see it's just a tiny bit left. So this might have to be on like an empties pile where I just use it up in the next week kind of thing. So I'll leave that there. Next, I've got the Maybelline Perfecta 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. So I've got this in the Fair Light. I believe there was only like four different shades and it's supposed to suit any skin tone, but I don't know. I still think this is a bit dark for me, but I guess I might try it again just to see. Um, I did take the applicator off uh, because I heard it was easier, but I just to twist it up. But I feel like it's actually worse because when you twist it, it keeps coming out and it's just hard to stop it. So I regret taking that off, but that's fine. I'm probably just going to try this one again just to see if I really like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to get rid of this one. Next, I have the Avene BB Cream. Um, I don't know if there's any other colors, but this is really full. It's quite, it's basically the same as this one, just a BB cream. So again, I'm not too sure. I think I have to try this one again. I just kind of left it in my makeup. And this is why I need to clean out my makeup because I don't even know what I have anymore. Um, when I look in here every morning, I'm like overwhelmed by what to use. Um, so I'm probably gonna try this one again and see if I like it. Next, I have this duo that I received in this little box from Mecca. Um, so this is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum and the A Passioni Retinal Cream. So they're supposed to go together. Um, so I know that retinol is supposed to be good for your skin and there is like a phase that you can go through, your skin goes through to cleanse, I guess, and just, you know, before it gets better, it gets worse. Um, so I kind of went through that recently and um, I need to take these on a little bit of a break or at least slow it down. Um, it is a tester, so it's not the full version, but I will probably finish these and see what I think at the end. That can be my finish slash moisturizer and hair, like body and face care drawer. Next, I've got this Revlon Candid Glow. So this again was something I just bought kind of on a whim. Um, I think it had good reviews, but it's basically a, I think it's a, it's a foundation, so not even a BB cream, but I think I'll have to try this again. It says light buildable coverage foundation, so it is quite light, but yeah, I'm going to try this one again just to see how I feel about it. Next, I've got this Ingrid Cosmetics Mineral Silk and Lift. I used to love this one. It's a moisturizing and soothing smoothing foundation it's really light but i love this one but it's been a while since i've used it and i don't know if i still like it so i might just have to try this one again see how many things i've got like i just don't know what if i still like those but they're just sitting in here next i've got this um it's the I think it's the Givenchy, 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 Givenchy Paris. Oh, yep. So it's the Givenchy Paris um, makeup, except, yeah, so this one's finished. So this is kind of the tube that it comes in, but you can get a refill. So I've kind of been waiting to do that. I just keep forgetting and I always forget installed because I don't know what it looks like. So I probably have to put this aside to get a new one. I did really like this. It's the... Tint Couture Cushion, um, and I don't even know what color it is, so I'm probably gonna have to rematch this one as well. But I did really like this one, so I finished that one. Next, I've got the no, not anymore. Next, I've got the Avene, um, it's like a restorative protective cream. I believe this got really viral on TikTok because of Hailey Bieber, I believe. She posted that she was using it in one of her 
get readies and I think so far I really liked it I've used most of it I think there's just a little bit at the end and it is quite thick um, so it's not really a light cream but it does work nice under makeup so yeah it looks like there's only a little bit left so that might be my skincare slash use pile then I've just got a little bit of a tester a Clinique tester so I'll probably put this in my skincare pile I've got this Poopa Extreme Gold Sparkling All Over um, for the face and body. This is kind of like a random thing that I feel like I don't use every day, so but I don't want to get rid of it in case I do use it because it is quite nice for like this special occasion. So I might put this in like the body kind of section as well. And then that's kind of it for everything in that area. I do just have a um, makeup sponge, but I'll probably get rid of this because it's been sitting there for a while and I don't know the last time I used it and I don't know if cleaning it will do anything. So that's going to go. Um, so that pile will be over here. Then I've got a whole bunch of these Me um, Mecca Cosmetica sunscreens. So these are a bit more of a skincare item. These are just testers in the sunscreen. So I'll pretty much go through these pretty fast. I've got a lot of them. They were free. They just handed them out. So I'll put them in my body care slash moisturizers area. Then I might go through the next section that I use pretty much every day, which is this section. So it's a bit more of makeup and skincare and random stuff like that. So first up is a Mugu Natural um, Sunscreen Face Cream. So I really like this one, but it doesn't belong here. Uh, I think it takes too much room. So I'm going to put that in my skincare area. I've got the Yves Rocher um, Moisturising Anti-Blemish Care, so it's a moisturiser. I do like this one so far and it is quite full and new, so I'll just put that in a different area. Then I've got a mascara by Max Factor, so this is a black brown mascara, so I do like this because it isn't a black and I just want to keep it for days when I don't want a fully black mascara, so this is a good one. I've got the L'Oreal Telescopic, which I finally got after all these years of knowing that it was so popular, but to be honest, I don't like it. <laughs> I just, I don't know what it is. Maybe, hopefully it's dried out a little bit, and usually I prefer mascaras that are dried out a little bit more, but I'm not sure. I might give this one another go and see how I feel, and to be honest... No, I'm not sure. This seems like a black. Is it? It's a black brown, but... Oh no, it's a black brown, so I'll keep this one. But I'm going to try this one and see how I feel about that. Then I've got a e.l.f. Wow Brow. Um, this is just in a... I don't know what colour, but it's kind of an ashy brown. It's just for your brows, and I do like this just to set them usually in light makeup days. Then I've got, actually this will go here, then I've got the Bobbi Brown, this is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, so I really like this one and honestly it smells amazing, I love this one and this is quite new so, and it is kind of like a primer so I will probably keep this one as well. Then I've got a Mecca Cosmetica Everyday Face Oil, and again, in the wrong spot. I feel like this needs to be kind of something that I put as part of my skincare, because I do forget I have this quite often. Then I've got this um, concealer. So this is a Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer, which I do really like, and it's quite full and also quite new. Um, I got this after using my NARS um, creamy concealer but you know I wanted to try something new but I honestly don't know it's not my favorite I wouldn't buy it again it works in the beginning I really didn't like it I hated how it looked but then somehow I feel like I've changed what I do with my skincare before I wear this so I do like it a little bit better but probably won't repurchase but I will use it until it finishes as well 
Then I've got the Maybelline Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. So this one is good, except it's way, way, way too light. And it's honestly just like a highlighting tone, but I don't really do that often. So I'll probably actually get rid of this one. Then I've got the Essence Lash and Brow. Um, this is like a gel. Um, and honestly, <laughs> I don't use this for my brows as much, but I do use it for flyaway hairs. So I probably put this in one of my purses and just have it on the go. So that will go as well. I've got this mascara from Catrice. It's the Glam Doll Lash Colorist. It says semi-permanent volume mascara. I don't know if that's true, but it kind of is nearing the end of its use. So I might just leave that and finish that one off. I've got the Estee Lauder Black, I think, yeah, this is the black mascara. It's just really old, so I can't really read what it says. Um, so I might just use this to finish it off or slash see if I like it and then throw it out after that because I don't think you can really give that away. Then I've got the Mecca Max off-duty contour stick so this is a really good one it's kind of a cream formula it's in the color medium and I do really like this one so I'll keep this okay so this is one of the things that I forgot I had and I bought it recently so it's a Fenty Beauty soft silk pro filter in the color I believe it's like the rosy kind of color so this is really nice it's kind of the um tester or small version so i've already used most of it but it is new so i'm just going to keep using this and i forgot about this actually so i'm glad i remembered i've got the kylie skin vitamin serum which was a tester but i finished this um i've got another sunscreen another one here then i've got the anastasia brow pomade which I actually bought recently but I don't use it that often and I have a feeling it's because I just don't see it and I don't always do my brows but I will keep this one as well then I've got the Shiseido um, minimalist whipped powder brush blush sorry um, in the color Sayoko 06 so I love this one the texture is amazing I really like this one and I'm probably gonna keep it because it is quite new as well and I can't see it in stores anymore so because I wanted to get the light pink but I'm not sure so I'll keep that one I've got this Mecca Beauty lip gloss I really love this one so it's also quite new as in it's not new but I've got a lot in there. It's quite a big tub and it's kind of like my bedside table one, so I'll probably keep that as well. So that's it for this section. So this container is now finished, which is good. Um, so what I might do is put back the stuff that I do want to keep in here, but only probably maybe my concealers and face base face products in here. Okay, so I've only put a few things. I'll put the mascaras near the brushes, I think, because they're a bit of a, like a long item. So I'll leave them out for now. But I'm going to move all these items because they're either my face products or my stuff that I want to test. So I'll move these for now. Okay, so these are stuff that's going to go back in, but I just need to find a spot for it first. And then these are my testing stuff and these are my throwing out stuff. So I'll move on to the next kind of area, which I'll do is brushes. So I'll just remove this. 
So these are my brushes, um, and I've got a few other things in here as well. So for example, I've got an eyeshadow, creamy eyeshadow stick, which I use all the time. I might put that back as well. I have a bronzer brush, which I use all the time, my blush brush, foundation slash concealer brush. Um, this one I actually don't use that often. I don't really like it, so I'm going to see if anyone else wants this one. I've got this face brush, but again, I'm not really sure if I really like it that much, but I might give it a go. And then this one as well, which is a face brush, uh, like a blush brush. But I might actually clean this one and use it as a powder brush. got an eyeshadow curler which I'll keep, it's my only one. I've got a mini brush which I'll use for travelling. probably go through this container which is kind of like a mini skincare kind of box so I'm gonna go through this this is like an everyday day cream so I think this can go in a different box this is a micro serum from um, Chanel I guess this is good for makeup as well so I'll leave that in there I've got an eye cream got the Tatcha water cream um, face cream which I've got quite a lot of so this is kind of more I use under makeup got an eyeshadow palette in here so I'll move that for now I've got a few testers so I've got the Eve Lom intensive night cream which is all finished so that's for the bin I've got a Bobbi Brown vitamin eye cream which I've got quite a bit of so I'm going to keep that and use that Lancome Youth Activating Concentrate, so I'll keep this because I believe it has some more, but this can go in my skincare. Same with the Lancome eye cream as well. I've got a Mecca, um, kind of like an off-duty. Um, this is... It's like a glass stick, I guess it's for glassy skin, so I'll keep that as well and put it in here. I've got the Shiseido foundation tester but I don't like I don't really like it so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. That's not good. I've got the Corsier um, cloud paint which I got in New York quite a few years ago but it's still good and it has quite a bit in it so I'm gonna keep this but at least it'll be visible here because um, I never see it actually. And then I've got a few Ghislaine and Chanel testers. So I guess these are also good, there's like night creams and stuff, so these are good for um, skincare. Same with the, I'm probably going to put the micro serum in there as well, as well as these as well. They're going to go in my skincare pile. Then all I've got left is a Born This Way tester and an Ole Hendrickson Strength uh, Moisturiser tester, which I believe... I don't know if I still have any more of this one. Oh, there's, there's enough there. I'll probably use that within the next night or so. So I'll keep this one. And then that's it for that container. So I'm not sure what I'll put in here just yet. So I'll leave that there for now to the side. What I might go through next is this kind of area here that's a little bit tucked away. So I've got the Max Fix It um, Plus, Fix Plus spray. So I'll keep that. Um, that can stay in here as well. I use this all the time. It's just a tester because I wasn't sure if I liked it. I've never tried it before. Then I've got a... In here I've actually got like a little small candle which smells really nice. So it's kind of just sitting here to provide some nice scents. Then I've got the Laura Mercier Rose Translucent Setting Powder. So I really like this one. I've got the rose just to give a bit more of a pink tone. 
Uh, so I like this one and this is a powder puff that I use with it so I'm going to keep that as well. And then in here I've also got the Mecha Max Water Cool Cooler Hydrating Serum and then the Mecha Max Hy Hyaluronic Acid which I need to actually... This is also a hydration serum, so I need to use these too, but they're more of a face thing, so I might leave them out as well, part of my moisturizers. Then I've got a Stila Silver Lake. Um, it's like a glimmer, I believe it's an eyeshadow, and it can be used for highlighting, but it's so beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's honestly so beautiful in person. Um... And it's really nice as an eyeshadow, so I'm just going to keep this because it's kind of a recent purchase and I love this one. A bunch of lipsticks that I've got and some I need to try to see if I like them, some I might not like them at all, so I need to clear this out as well. Um, so starting off with the e.l.f. Lip Liqueur, so this is a really, really shimmery one. I do like this one, so I'll keep this one. I've got a Stila lipstick in Mon Ami. I really like this one. It's kind of like a nude colour. got an essence. Uh, it's called What the Fake Plumping, but I don't really like this, so I'm going to get rid of that as well, see if anyone else wants it. I've got this Smashbox um, Crush It Liquid Pigment. I do quite like these, so I'm going to keep that as well. I've got a Jouer, Jouer um, lip, kind of like a matte lipstick, but it doesn't have a name or anything or whatever um, it's called. So I'm just going to keep this, but I do like this one as well. I've got a Ghislaine lip gloss. I love this one. I'm going to keep this one too. I've got a Lavera lipstick, which I don't really know if I like. So I'm going to put this in my testing pile to test and see if I like it. I've got the Shiseido lipstick, which I use all the time. I love this one. I've got a small Dior lipstick in the colour Rouge Dior 999. It's a beautiful red. I'll keep this one. Then I've got a... I can't remember what brand this is. I feel like it's Glam, but I'm not sure. Um, but they're just really pretty colours, and I love the packaging on these. It's kind of like a Christmas type of lipstick, so I love these. Um, so I'll keep those. Then I've got these really, really old MAC bullets, and if you remember the good old days, MAC used to be an amazing, like, everybody used to, like, obviously they're a really good brand, but everybody used to have these MAC bullets. Um, because they look like a little bullet and these are really old and honestly I keep them mainly because of memories um, but I might just get rid of them now. This is in a colour snob which was so popular at one point but I would not wear this now. In the camera it looks fine but in person it's like a pure Barbie pink and then this one is the colour hue so... I might get rid of these or maybe just keep them as like an old capsule type thing and put it in my storage because um, these are cute but I definitely won't wear these and I don't want them here in my makeup collection. I've got a really small Tarte lip paint but I don't really like this colour, it's a bit too purple for me so I'm going to see if anyone else wants it. I've got a lid for a Ghislaine lipstick but I don't have a lipstick to go into it so I need to buy one. So I'll leave it here to remind me. I've got a Isabelle Morant slash, um, I believe it's with, it doesn't say, but I feel like it was with Maybelline or something, but it's a really beautiful red. I love this one. I love the packaging. So keeping this one. I've got a Chanel lipstick that I really love and I use quite often. And then also a Balmain lipstick. This one's a bit of a nude um, and a bit shimmery, so I think I need to try this one if I like it or not and then decide. And then the last one in here is a Ghislaine lipstick, but it's again too purple for me, so I'll see if my mum wants this one as well. So that's all the lipsticks, so I'm going to put these back. Thank you. 
but I've got a NARS blush tester, which I actually forgot about, but I want to keep using this to see if I want to buy the blush. So I'll put it here in my makeup kind of area. Then I've got an hourglass. This is the lighting powder, diffuse light ambient lighting. So I guess um, this is for under eyes, etc. I do like this and it's a really good travel size, so I'll keep that. And then the last thing I kind of got is a bunch of palettes, so I do think I want to get rid of a few, so um, I'll just put that back over here. So the first one I have is a, an old um, Estee Lauder, but I love this palette and I love the colours, even though they are a bit purple, they come up as a bit purple, but on the eyes they're really, they're really not that bad, so, and I use this often, it's good travel palette as well so I'll probably keep this as well I have this young blood um, it's a really old palette but I really like this one it's I don't use it as often because the colors are really it's just pure white black dark gray and a light gray I just don't use this that often so I might see if my mum wants this one or give this one away We'll see if my sister wants it as well. I have this palette. This is by Ghislaine. But I love this palette so much. I use it all the time. One of my favourites. Really good colours. So I love this one. Basically what I use every day. I've got rid of quite a lot of stuff um, so I'll show you as well what I've got left. So this is now the drawer after I've cleaned everything out so I've got all my lip products there minus a few that are in my bags. I've got um, three eyeshadow palettes in the back there. Um, there's one small one in there as well. Then I've got mini eyeshadows I've got mascaras, um, long items, and this spare travel um, sponge. I've got this. It's kind of my everyday. This is really what I use every day. I don't have a foundation, but I've got the few that I'm going to try out, see if I like. If not, I'll just, you know, look to see if I can find a new one. Um, and then I've got my brushes that I've decided to keep, and then a few, um, like, eyeshadow, oh, eyelashes in the back, and the... Um, random stuff like that but there's not a lot in there and then just yeah my brushes which I've kept because um, brushes can be annoying to buy and honestly these are all good and I do use them and it's nice to have when you have dirty ones and here is all the makeup that I'm either getting rid of or seeing if my mum or my sister wants and this small section probably here is like for the bin because it's probably just not good to give anyone over there is the stuff that I want to test out and see if I like or not. So that's basically everything. I hope you enjoyed this clean out. I don't know what to do with this section now. I might put back some of my absolute daily mo face moisturizer that I do before my makeup and just keep that in there. Otherwise, honestly, it's not that bad having all this extra space. It's kind of nice every time I open it up now. So yeah, thank you for watching my video and I'll see you soon. Bye.